Here we go. Little one taking its first fumbling steps. Mom is up and baby is on its way to getting its first meal. Oh, watch out little one. The world is full of obstacles and that includes getting dung on your nose. Here we go. Oopsie, watch your head. <laughs> Incoming. Well done, girl. It's a oh, shame. Scared now after that moment with the buffalo bull. Oopsie. Oopsie, nearly there. This cow is not in as bad a condition as I thought. She's actually quite healthy, but she certainly doesn't look like she just gave birth. I wonder at what's happened here. Let's just watch how this, before I speculate too far, let's just watch how this situation plays out. I'm not 100% convinced that this is mom. I want to just try and get a view of her nipples, but she's blocked them for now but she doesn't seem interested at all in paying any attention to that baby oh no Brian that buffalo at the back has it moved at all while we've been watching oh there she is oh there's mom that's mom that's not mom mom is at the back there and she's still her placenta is still sticking out. It's very difficult for you to see. But she hasn't finished fully. Okay, so that's not mom that just got up. Mom is at the back and mom, I think, is struggling. And now the buffalo bull sits between the calf and its mom. And that little calf was lying next to that female, obviously for warmth and comfort. And I think we have a very, a very upsetting scene on our hands here. Because I don't know. Oh, it's just an ox picker. It's just an ox picker, little one. Oh, you'll have to get used to them. It's okay. Oh, shame. Oh, this is utterly heartbreaking. And this is where every part of you wants to scream to sort of run towards it and scoop it up and warm it up and try and get it some food. But obviously it's not something that we can do. We absolutely can't interfere in this. But I promise you, I really wish we could. Oh, sweetheart. Come on, Mom. All right, what I'm going to do... I'm gonna, the calf is not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna go forward a bit so you can see what I mean about the female. I don't really want to scare this little calf though while it's trying to wobble, oh no. Come on, go away. Yes, that's it, go away. Goodbye boy. Little one, go now, you've got the chance. Not that way, that's not mom. Mom's behind you. There's another thing that sometimes happens with buffalo, and I've described it before. I've never seen it in the larger herds, but I have heard that it can happen. There's something known as pregnancy hysteria. There's a reason that the females, when they go into labor, that they try and move away from the rest of the herd. And that's because the animals get confused by the scent of her going into labor, the hormones that are spiking. And they get overexcited. And I've seen it before where the females start to headbutt and to kick a female that's going into labor. The males start to try and mount her. They all get very, very confused. And it was a very dramatic situation that I was involved in about two years ago with a buffalo calf in a similar situation. And I wonder if that didn't happen to this female. There must be a reason why. So the 
the afterbirth is still protruding. I don't really want to scare this baby now that it's standing up without any protection. So we're not actually going to move. And although you can't see it, it's behind the tree. Um, I don't think she's fully delivered the placenta yet. And she's just run out of energy. She's missing a horn. She's had a very difficult time of things, I think. Come on, little one. That's a boy. Don't go there. Please don't go there again. Okay. All right. You've learned your lesson. There you go. There's mom. Come on, mom. Whoopsie. Urinating again. Very common within the first few hours of birth. But it's going to need a drink soon. And AJ, yes, the baby would urinate still, even if it hadn't eaten yet. And the reason is, of course, it's now being kicked into sort of its organs are being kicked into fully functioning mode. So the kidneys are starting to work to get rid of all of the waste and the moisture or the water that was provided by the, the mother's body in utero through the placenta is now being excreted in the traditional fashion. So yes, it's very common for babies to urinate when they're first born and also their initial defecation, which is interesting because obviously they don't eat within the womb itself, but they are being provided with nutrients and with waste material. And that meconium the first time that a baby defecates in its life is usually almost immediately after birth. So this po baby probably already has. Come on, little one, there you go. Oh, you're so close. You're so close. Come on, keep going. Oh, okay. Little tottering steps. A swift headbutt by that male probably didn't help. There you go. Hey, Mom. That's yours. You've got to start giving it some attention. She's ruminating at least, so she's okay. But she probably is desperate for the nutrients after the labor process. Come on, little one. Yes, there you go. Go on, go remind her that you're there. That's it, that's it. Yes, Mum, there you go, that's yours. Well, that was a little bit half-hearted. I think she is just exhausted. I don't think the, the birthing process is fully completed yet. Sean, you're wondering uh, sort of roughly how much a baby buffalo weighs at birth. And having picked one up before, it's sort of close to the region of about 30 kilograms at birth. So the baby that I was speaking about earlier, that we, we watched the female getting attacked by the rest of the herd, we ended up having to save her baby. And it was a different situation because it was a closed system. And they were buffalo that were disease-free, so a different story completely. But when we went and picked up little buffalo that was then named Patsy, of all the ridiculous names, but Patsy probably weighed about 30 kilograms, so just over 60 pounds at birth. Quite heavy, solid little creatures, surprisingly. Here you go, Mom. Shame. <laughs> there you go. Meet your new friends. They're going to be with you for the rest of your life. Those ox pickers. A 
and Urgag. You were wondering why the ox pickers are landing on the calf, what they're hoping to find while they do that. And the answer is, first of all, the babies pick up ticks very quickly. But most importantly, as you know, with their tick-based diet, oopsie, speed wobble, they are attracted to blood and mucus as well. So we often talk about the fact that they will make injuries worse on an animal because they peck and they worry at it constantly. And they might be attracted to the smell of the, the dried fluids on the calf. But obviously the calf not yet comfortable enough to let them settle. Come on, Mom. I'm really hoping I'm wrong, but I'm not entirely sure this is going to be a story with a happy ending. But we'll see. These animals are incredibly resilient. And hopefully, Mom gets up now to feed the little one. Hopefully that instinct is triggered. And while we wait and see how the situation plays out and what Mom decides to do or how she responds, let's head across to James, who is on foot.